Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this demo, I am going to demonstrate how to deploy a Node.js application to an EC2 instance using the AWS Code Deploy. I have logged into my AWS Management Console. So here we are going to use the Code Deploy service. For that, first we need to create a Code Deploy role. Let's go to the IAM. Click roles. Click create role. Select the service. Code deploy. And click code deploy because we are going to deploy it on an EC2 instance. Then click next. So you can see there is a policy for that. So we'll click next. And for that we are going we need to give a name. We'll give the name as code deploy role then click create role the role code deploy role has been successfully created now let us go to code deploy first we need to create an application click applications create an application so we will give the name as demo application and the compute platform it is going to be easy to slash on premises click create application the next step is we need to create a deployment group so let's give the deployment group name as demo development instances so that this deployment group is going to have all the ec2 instances which is part of the the development and we need to have a assign a service role so we have the code deploy role already created we are going to assign that and the deployment type we are going to use is in place so there is another option available which is the blue green deployment so in place deployment means when there is going to be any update during that time that the system application will go offline and then after the installation is done it is going to come online so that is what is about the in place deployment so if you are going to use a blue green deployment actually it is going to be like the application will be the new version will be applied in a separate set of instances and then the older version will be brought down so that is the blue green deployment and if you wanted to do a blue green deployment you need to have an ec2 auto scaling group configured so let's select the amazon ec2 so we need to the tag so we are going to group the instances based on the tag so we are going to use the key as environment and the value as development and we will be installing the aws code deploy agent manually logging into the ec2 instance so we are not going to use a system manager so we'll put us in our and the deployment settings so again we have three options here whether you wanted to bring all the instances down and then apply the new version or take one instance at a time and then deploy or take half of the instances at a time and apply the changes or even you'll be able to create a new deployment configuration where you'll be able to say at any point this many percentage of instances has to be up and running or this many number of instances has to be up and running so here we'll go all at once anyway we are going to try it with only one instance right so we are not going to use any load balancing now click the create deployment group so the deployment group has been successfully created so now we can create a deployment before that let us go and create an ec2 instance click instances launch instance give the name as demo server and then we'll use the amazon linux aws we'll use everything as default because we are using with the free tire and we can create a new pair because we don't have any pair already available so let's give the pair demo search we create a key pair And here we are going to again because we want to access the application using http so i'm selecting the http also here and then we'll use the default configuration storage configuration and then click launch instance so 
so that the instance is running successfully Let's select the so we have successfully created the ec2 instance but this ec2 instance need permission to access the s3 because as part of the code deploy we need to get uh, the actually source code from the s3 and then we need to run the application on the ec2 instance so go to security we need to there is no iam role associated so we need to create an iam role and associated with that click new iam role so create a new role so click ec2 click next search for the s3 policy so let's select the amazon s3 read only access click next so we need to give a name for this ec2 code deploy role click create the new role ec2 code deploy role has been successfully created select the role update the iam role so now we have associated the iam role with the permission to read the s3 to the ec2 instance now we have successfully assigned the role also to this ec2 instance the next step is we need to connect to this instance and install the code deploy agent we connect let's copy this next we need to install ruby cd to this folder so here we need to replace the region identifier with our region next one and similarly here we need to update the bucket name has been downloaded now let's do an install so let's validate the status of the agent yeah the agent is successfully running now now let's go to the code commit first to see the aspect.yaml file which has that information on the application deployment the code deploy uses this file so you need to provide the version which has to be 0.0, .0 and the operating system either linux or windows and the files from where to where the files has to be copied and the hooks before installation what it has to do and as part of the application start what it has to do these hooks are specific to where the application is getting deployed so this is specific to the ec2 deployment now let's go to the code deploy go to applications click the demo application select the deployment group then click create deployment so here you need to give the s3 revision location so for that let's go to the s3 copy the s3 uri paste it here zip then click create deployment deployment has been started you can view the events here the application deployment has succeeded okay so now let us go to the ec2 instance let's copy the 
public DNS URL. Now we could clearly see our application is successfully running on an Amazon EC2 instance. In this demo, we have seen how we could successfully deploy a Node.js application on an Amazon EC2 instance using the built artifacts which are available in S3. Thanks for watching the demo.